This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this RGB split typography animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugin. It's a super fun effect, looks pretty dope and kind of trippy, but the process of creating this animation is very, very easy. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I have mentioned all the links in the description below. So make sure you do all that stuff and then jump to this tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do. 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more new comp which is going to be our text placeholder. So let's call this text. Hit OK. Then select the text tool and then you can type in, of course, anything that you want. I'm going to type in design. For the font, I will be using Babis New Pro and let's go with bold. Also, let's keep this full caps and bring down the spacing, align this into the center and increase the size like so. okay so this is looking pretty good let's go back into our main render comp drag and drop in our text composition and the first effect that we will be using is called wave warp so i'm going to go into my effects and presets search for wave warp double click to apply that effect let's change the wave height from 10 to 4 increase the wave width to around 180 Let's also rotate the direction to 45 degrees and set the wave speed to around 0 0.7. Let's change the pinning from none to, I guess let's go with all edges. So right now we have this really nice wave kind of a effect on this looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add a displacement map. So I'm going to go into effects and presets, search for this displacement map double click to apply that but now in order to use a displacement map we need to create a displacement map so to do that i can simply create a new composition call this map hit ok hit ctrl y to create a new solid we can call this map as well hit ok and on this one i'm going to use a four color gradient so there we go double click to apply that i'm going to move this point something like that let's hit s to bring down the scale properties and scale this by 200 percent then hit r to bring down the rotation and we can now animate the rotation so right here i'm going to use a very simple expression so hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in time into 200 so now if i preview this we have a simple rotating shape but right now you can see we have some um, edges so the layer is not yet fitting the complete comp so i'm gonna hit s again and scale this to around 210 i guess yeah that should be fine and now we have some nice revolving or rotating colors so that is looking pretty good now let's go back into our render comp drag and drop in the map hide that and now we can change the displacement map layer from text to map so this is going to give us a really nice look now obviously we need to increase the horizontal displacement so let's set this to around 380 and that should make things look something like this which looks pretty awesome i think all right so now let's move forward with this now i'm going to go into effects and preset and search for an effect called set channels this effect will help us to achieve that rgb look that you saw in the preview so i'm going to drag and drop this one and i'm going to turn off the green and blue channel so let's 
set this to off and this one to off set the blending mode of this composition to screen then duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second one turn off the red and turn on the green now let's go here and increase the wave height to around 6 and i'm gonna change the direction maybe let's set this to 40 degrees let's also play around with the face so let's set this to around 75 or something and then bring down the max horizontal displacement to 150 this is very important so this is going to help us to achieve this really cool look looking pretty nice let's duplicate this again hit ctrl d let's set this one to off and let's turn on the blue channel so now i'm going to change the wave height to minus three maybe increase the wave width to around 200 should be fine and everything else looks good play around a little bit with the face so let's set this to 125 and bring down the max horizontal displacement to 50. so now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice look now let's create a new adjustment layer here call this blur and go into fashion preset and search for camera lens blur double click to apply that and i can increase the intensity to around 50 but now i want to create a map for this one as well so here we can add a blur map to this camera lens blur so in order to do that i can create a new comp call this a blur map hit ok let's go right here in the rectangle tool double click to apply that and right now by default your fill should be set at a solid color like this so all you have to do is go and click on this small button that says fill option set this to a gradient radial gradient and let's increase this like so the blur is going to be only affected in the white area of this layer so if i go back and if i drag and drop the blur map so let's hide this go into blur and let's set this to blur map so now you can see only the white section of the mat is affected with the blur and that is exactly what i want so now i can play around with some settings so i'll set the aspect ratio so i'll set the aspect ratio of this to 3.5 all right so we get this really nice dissolve let's change the shape to triangle and bring down the threshold to 0.8 or something and turn on repeat edge pixels so now this is going to make our composition a bit heavy so we can work with half res but as you can see it is looking pretty good now one thing that i want to do here is play around a little bit with the blur map so i can increase this and in case if your blur if your gradient doesn't look like this you can anytime jump into edit gradient settings so here we have the edit gradient settings i can adjust the black and the white point hit ok and you know get a really nice blur so i can set this to something like that if i go back we can see we get a really really nice look before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration design photography video freelancing and more skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold you can check out this animation course for motion design on skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation skillshare is also incredibly affordable especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops the first 1000 people who uses the link in my description will receive one month free trial of skillshare premium let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background and i'm gonna go into effects and preset add a fill on this so double click and i'm gonna make this a nice darkish blue color background or maybe something like this one and then i can create a new adjustment layer and let's add some glows on this just to make it look a bit more interesting i'm gonna call this glow go into effects and preset type in glow double click to apply that now whenever you're working in glows always switch to 32 bbc so i'm gonna so i'm gonna hold alt and 
click two times on the small button and there we go now we're working in 32 bits per channel let's increase this and increase the glow radius let's bring down the glow intensity to point to very very subtle just so that we get a really nice look so you can see before and after L looks much more better and finally i will add some noise on this let's add a noise of around three percent should be fine just to avoid any kind of color bendings and you know we get a really nice look now it's gonna bit go a bit heavy on the system when you're working with 32 bpc but the results are gonna be super awesome and there we go our animation is ready now the best part about this animation is anytime you can jump into the text com change the text or maybe use a logo or something and get a really cool look so that is how you can create an rgb split typography animation inside of after effects that too without using any plugin super easy very very simple and using some very easy inbuilt effects so if you enjoy this tutorial please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out